Hi everybody, welcome to my Battlefield 5 versus Battlefield 1 graphic sound gunplay and most importantly gameplay comparison video. What we're trying to answer here is that from our experiences with the Battlefield 5 beta, if you enjoyed Battlefield 1, would you like Battlefield 5? Would you and should you invest your time and money in the next instalment in the franchise? Because for me, Battlefield 1 was probably almost... No, it was definitely almost... No, it was definitely <laughs> the best competitive respawn multiplayer game I've ever played. The experiences I have had in Battlefield 1 with my friends and solo have been absolutely amazing. The battlefield moments that you have experienced in Battlefield 1 have been... I, I was going to say indescribable, but I could describe them, but we would be here all day. And I was really wanting that from Battlefield 5. I really want that from Battlefield 5 as well. So let's let's take a step back. So start off graphically wise. I think graphic wise you will be very pleased with Battlefield 5. As you can see from these videos, Battlefield 5 looks great. Um, this is a nice sunny level. Um, we're in Rotterdam and I know I'm comparing it with um, Barroom Blitz which is kind of not quite as sharp. But remember this is just on the PlayStation 4 but overall that you know both um, both games look really really good. Sound wise at the moment, I would say that Battlefield 1 has got better sounds because it has the music that cuts in and starts to swell, you know, when the flags are being taken and near the end of the game, where Battlefield um, 5 doesn't have that at the moment. It may well get it, um, so I would give that to Battlefield 1. Now, the gunplay. This is really interesting, this. If you enjoy the gunplay in Battlefield 1, you will really, really enjoy the gunplay in Battlefield 5 because the guns feel very similar. They have the same weight, they have the same presence, they you know, they feel solid in your hands, which I think is different to Battlefield 4. I don't think the guns feel the same. And they, I think the guns in Battlefield 1 feel really good. But you also got the feeling in Battlefield 1 that, say, when you were using any of the automatic weapons, they were a bit janky, weren't they? You know, that you would start firing, bup, 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 and like the MP18. Um, or the, uh, the the LMGs, you know, they, they would start to kind of overheat and change and they would be bouncing over everywhere and your bullets would be going not where you wanted to. Now, in Battlefield 5, they've removed, at the time, anyway, at this time, random bullet deviation. So you still have this great feeling of the guns, the great sounds and the great presence of the gun, but they're more accurate. When you're firing away with the STG-44 assault rifle, which is kind of similar to the Rib Royale, from Battlefield 1 to give you an idea of what it's like, it's more accurate, but it feels just as good, so you'll love that. So, the big, big change, and this is the one that's going to be challenging for people who enjoy Battlefield 1, I'm not going to lie, the big change, gameplay. Now on the surface we have similar things, you know, we, we've got Conquest, and we've seen in the beta, we've seen Grand Operations, which are quicker versions of, well, sort of quicker versions, to operations from Battlefield 1. But we've got some changes to the Battlefield mechanics with Battlefield 5. And these evolve, revolve around the following things. So the first one, which is, and these are the ones that are important to me, being a big fan of Battlefield uh, 1, is the kill cap. You don't have the same kill cap. See there, I know that that aeroplane killed me, because I can see it in red as it zips off into the distance and you don't get that to the same extent in Battlefield 5. Sometimes you'll get like a red kind of ghost effect on the enemy who's killed you but a lot of the time you don't seem to get it. Now that may well be a bug and they may well sort that out but I've got a feeling the game's going to be like that. They don't want to show you where you've been killed from. Um, which for me, I, the problem with that is it aids campers, it aids those snipers who are sitting in dark corners who are firing at you. Especially when you combine this with the fact that 3, 3D spotting has effectively been removed from Battlefield 5. So you know like in Battlefield 1 when you're wandering around the map, you see an enemy, the first thing you should do, if he's not firing at you straight away, is tap on the shoulder button on your controller to, to tag, to spot that enemy. That way all your teammates and squad mates will then see that tag and go, ooh there's someone over there, let's start firing at ki and killing them. Because that is 
I mean, it's useful in itself, but it's also useful if you run into a room and there's a camper in the corner who's going to kill you because he's, you know, hiding. But you can quickly tag him before you die, so your squad mates know where he is and they can come in and they can take the revenge and you can take him out. You can't do that in Battlefield 5. The sniper with his special sniper kind of monocular that he has can 3D tag stuff and certain other things comes wrong. But your average soldier, you can't tag people. You, you can if people are suppressed, but it's a bit of a pain. You're more likely to fire at them and kill them first. So that is very different. You've got to really concentrate on looking to see where enemies are. Even if you're standing next to a squad mate who's blasting away at somebody, you've got to look, right, where are they? <laughs> I can't. Because Battlefield 5 is a very busy game. There's lots going on. There's more going on than in Battlefield 1. You look with smoke effects, particle effects, all these other things. And it can be very difficult. Like, I can see that horse. I know where that horse is going. I can chase him. I can, and I, I can blat him and, and do him in. And at the moment as well, the directional sound in Battlefield 5 isn't as good as Battlefield 1, so it's difficult to hear where people are coming from. So that's that makes things more difficult. Now, the thing that really changes the game is um, attrition and scarcity, which are two concepts they were introducing in Battlefield 5. Now what these are, it's the idea with attrition that when you get shot, the only way that you can um, uh, get your health back up is to use a med pack which you might be carrying or a, a medic might have given it to you um, or you might pick one up from from a, from a med dump or if you're you're with a squad if you're by yourself your health doesn't regenerate so you, if you're running around doing a big flank and you get hurt and you hide in a bush or behind a rock your health isn't going to go, get any better so you've really got to think about what you're going to do do you risk trying to push a situation without full health where you're probably going to die really quick or do you back off, find your squad mate, find a medic, get some health packs or find a medic dump also, and this is the really big one is scarcity now for their own reasons DICE have introduced the idea that when you spawn in you spawn in with very few bullets. You'll spawn in for at the moment in the Battlefield 5 beta as a assault guy with 60, about 60 bullets, right? And that's that's two clips of ammunition. And with a fully automatic gun, they can be they're gone, you know, in a matter of seconds. Where I've seen Battlefield 1, when you spawn in, I think you you tend to spawn in with you know over a hundred rounds of ammunition. So as soon as you spawn in, battle, in spawn in in Battlefield 5, you're immediately thinking, where am I going to get my next ammunition from? Is there a support guy near me who's going to throw me some ammo? Is there an ammo dump? Because there's these like support boxes, these ammo crates that are scattered around the map. You can go up to and get ammo out. Of and it means that when you spawn in on your squad, if one of them isn't a support player or he's a support player who isn't throwing out ammo, you, you can be in the middle of a firefight with two clips of ammunition. It means you can be trying to push an objective with two clips of ammunition, which means that you're firing at them, you're firing at them, you might kill somebody, they duck, you start firing again, you're out of ammo. So you can't carry on pushing the objective, you've got to back off, you've got to find a supply crate, you've got to try and take a risk and pick up some ammo off a fallen enemy and it really changes the way you where you play the game Battlefield 1 is a very aggressive run and gun um, everybody running in together blasting away having a great time with their machine guns and their, their rifles and their snipers moving around the map in these great swarms sometimes or doing these flanking maneuvers um, and it, it's very action packed all the time almost with Battlefield 5, it's not like that. You, you get these lulls because you've really got to think, right, where are we going to go? Where am I going to go? Where am I going to get my ammo from? Where am I going to get my uh, meds from? Where are the enemy going to be on this flag? Because nobody spotted them, so we don't know where they are. Once I've got the flag, what am I going to do? do? Do I reinforce it? Have I got enough ammo to carry on going? Um, and so you tend to get these these really these lulls when it's like almost like a game of chess when you're moving around. There's, there's all this action that happens, like in Battlefield One, you know, loads of firing, shooting, dying, resurrecting, uh, reviving, sorry, all that sort of stuff. And then there's a lull again, and it does feel very very different. You can't run and gun in Battlefield Five like you do in Battlefield One. You really do have to slow down. And the res system in Battlefield Five is a little bit janky at the moment, and it takes forever to do. I mean, it's not as quick as Battlefield, um, Battlefield 1. So there we go. They're the main differences. So 
I would say take a long hard look at the footage, take a long hard look at other people's videos. Maybe even wait for it to come out. Um, you will enjoy Battlefield 5 if you like Battlefield 1, but it's going to take you a while to get used to these changes. And it's almost like Battlefield 5 is a different mode. It's Battlefield Hardcore. You know, it's like I don't know if you've ever played Hardcore on Battlefield 1 where there's no uh, icons above people's heads and if you you know kill your own teammates you can get kicked out um, and th there's more damage being done, that sort of thing. Think of Battlefield 5 like that because Battlefield 5 is in an amazing location. We've got Tiger Tanks, we've got Spitfires, we've got um, Sten Guns, you know, we've got STG 44s, there's all these amazing props to, to help with our fun and you know that with your friends you're all going to enjoy it but as I say you need to take the time to play that a little bit more slowly to think about things to get things set up and you have to play together as squads so there we go Battlefield 1 versus Battlefield 5 Battlefield 5 is a slower more considered more hardcore experience and it will definitely take you a while to get used to it if you're a Battlefield 1 player. Anyway, that's enough from me. Put your questions and comments down below. What do you think? If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much, and I will see you again soon. Ich brauche Munition! Schnell! Erobern wir dieses Ziel! Munition! an objective Charlie. Vorwärts! Erobert das Ziel dort! Ja,
Und verteidigt ist das Ziel dort. Aber das Ziel dort macht schon. Objective Butter. We have taken objective Charlie. We have taken objective Duff. Seht ihr das? Ein feindlicher Panzer! Wir müssen das Ziel dort verteidigen. Hier, erste Hilfe für dich. Come 
Job. We have lost Objective Butter. Okay.